Mladen Manev. Well, you can see he's not in the greatest sort of physical shape, and I suspect this is not going to be as testing a night for Adelaide as Sokolovsky produced. No, Sokolovsky's uh, no, no, no. You know, he's no walkover. Um, he beat some some up and coming heavyweights, had a few good wins, and he's someone who demands respect. Would you like to see him? In? Oh, that's a good right hand from Adelaide. Would you like to see him in against Sokolovsky again? Um, I mean, if it's something he feels he needs to do, something he feels he wants to do, it does. It definitely would show something about his character to take that fight again. But again, it's all part of development. Needs to take it at the right time. Last few seconds of the opening round. Adelaide surely doing enough to take it. Manaf as an amateur won a bronze medal in the European Championships back in 21, uh, 20, when he was 21, rather, back in 2010. That was a brilliantly timed counter shot. Should have been something solid behind that, building on it, a solid jab. Very in his looks up, David Adelaide. And he's trying things in there, and I don't mind that. I like to see it. Not under any sort of threat, though, from Mane Fizzi, who conditioning frankly is pretty awful you said that John not me well you can agree if you like <laughs> and here comes Adelaide now back to the jab bump bump building on it not looking too long for that Hollywood shot Manef has only been stopped on two occasions nine defeats in his 12 fights and Adelaide would very much have hoped that he was going to be another man to have that success. Another example there, Adelaide, he's just waiting to bring Manev onto the shot. Which at this level you'll get away with, he might, you know, he, he may find that shot. But going up the levels, you know, people will recognise these things. Higher quality fighters will recognise these things. Nice change of pace there, a little bit better, trying things, like it. Moments like now, but straight back to it. Shouldn't be allowing a journeyman to do that to him. Oh, Manef taunting him as much as to say, you're landing, but you're not doing anything. That's better. Good uppercut, right hand. Better. And another. He needs to keep filling the gaps. Adelaide thinks he's got him going. You can see he's trying to step up the pace. But Manef takes it all and tries to come back with big shots of his own. And Manef has not really been got going so far now. What's he uh, complaining about? Uh, complaining about a clash of heads, I think. And he looked for a moment as though he was going to quit. And Manef doesn't like it at all. He wanted to take a knee and wanted the referee to step in. Now, that was, uh, that was bizarre. He didn't, and I don't mind that attitude from David Adelaide. Ref didn't, he didn't take a knee, ref didn't go over, he got stuck straight in. Just well, needs to calm down a little bit here. Look, pressing too hard, got turned himself into the corner. Manef, not a happy man, and he's trying to fire back at Adelaide and believes, I think, that Adelaide put the nut on him. Oh, great shot! Terrific uppercut, and I think that might be the end. Is he going to be able to get up? Will he want to get up? The count's at eight. He gets up. He's up. And he's shouting across the ring to Adelaide. As much as to just say, come to on, then, just do it again. Just composure, just composure. All that good work of changing the tempo of the shot in between. This is where he needs to be doing it. Touch, touch, then sink something. Better. There you go. Well, I think that Mar he's finished. The referee said enough's enough. Combination of factors, I think. Lack of conditioning for Manef. Big headshots as well. And David Adelaide gets the stoppage win that he wanted. But... When we look back at that, and you can see that Manef is really struggling, I wonder if it was a clash of heads which started the problems. There's an uppercut. Oh, that was where, no, he was struggling, I think, from that. Whether, he was, whether his vision was affected, I'm really not sure, but I think that right there, it'd have been better off just taking a knee if that was, he felt, felt that he was struggling. Yeah, I'm not sure what happened there, to be honest, because he then did take a big shot and got knocked down and, and, and 
to be honest with you, I didn't think he was going to get back up, but he did. So I'm not quite sure what happened there. Tremendous uppercuts. Better with the finish there, David Adelaide. He touched, touched, then sunk a shot. When everything's a consistent, heavy shot, it's easier for the opponent to brace, knowing, expecting when and what's coming, at what weight. Ladies and gentlemen, here is the official time. One minute, 54 seconds of round number four. Your winner by technical count out and still undefeated, Bing Team.